be who I want to be. I, I, I try not to let others influence my decisions. Uh, I try to make my own mind up. Uh, I do take advice and I do listen to others, but I don't let it influence me in a way that uh, uh, it, it takes me off my own path. Because there's something I've learned about people. When, you, when you're successful or you're trying to be successful, the first thing they want to do is take that away from you. You lost audio. Wow, does everybody hear, can everybody hear me? I hope you can hear me. Okay, cool. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, I got internet. But anyway, I, I, you know, I don't let people influence my direction like others would. I, I, I'm my own man. I do things the way that I know and I feel in my heart. Now, I do enjoy constructive criticism. You know, I enjoy people saying, you know what, Carrie, I don't know if I'd have done it that way. And then uh, when I'm laying in bed at night, I think to myself, you know what? That makes good sense. You know, uh, so maybe I need to I need to relook at that, you know, and, and, and think maybe uh, there's a different approach. But. Boy, Kitty, I'd like to know. I, I wish I knew what that said, but uh, thank you. <laughs> Kitty. <coughs> Kenny Dutton sending me something in uh uh, French or Spanish or that, that doesn't show you how much I know. I don't even know what language it is. Maybe I should Google it real quick and uh, and see what that says. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. You know the art of Google is is uh, powerful. And uh, everybody talks about how much I'm on my phone. You know my phone is my life. I mean it's how I make my living. Prospero annual, happy new year. Promise that's prosper annually, I guess. I am going to prosper. This is my year. I'm going to tell you that right now. Got a lot of good things going on in my life. Got a lot of bad things going on too, but. When I wake up every day, I know it's another day. Oh, happy birthday in Spanish. You know what? I can't even get it to come up on my, on my phone. I don't know why. But thank you. Thank you for the birthday wishes, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. So, you know, I, I love my IAW family. They, uh, you guys are amazing. And uh, I've missed you over the last couple of weeks. It's been a, it's been a long holiday, and uh, you know I've been in business for so long, and I, uh, I've been in sales for so long. I don't like holidays because people quit, uh, they quit buying and they quit doing, they quit doing the things that a salesman wants them to do, and I'm one of those salespeople that I can never get enough. You know I want something happening every day, <coughs> and when a when the sales reps call in and, uh, you know, what'd you do today? Well, it was a rough day. Well, why was it a rough day? You know, Ryan, you're showing you all gone like four times. That's weird. But, uh, you know, uh, I had a bad day or it was a rough day or people were saying no. And, you know, my philosophy is we keep going until you get a yes. And, uh, yeah, I know. I know what you're saying, buddy. I, I have withdrawals, too, you know. I love Wednesday nights. I mean, I, I've been doing this for three years now, every Wednesday, and uh, I have missed a couple, you know, because of the uh, of family and stuff, but uh, very consistent on being here on Wednesday nights, and when it, it doesn't happen, you know, of course, it just fell that way this year, And uh, but, you know, of course, Thanksgiving's always on a Thursday, and Christmas fell this year where we, uh, I think one year it was on a Saturday or something, and we had training, and actually had a great training, and everybody was home, and you know, actually, <laughs> Christmas Eve is probably a good time to have training because everybody's there and they can watch the training. But, uh, you know, we're going to do some different things this year. I'm going to have some special trainings. I'm going to do some different things this year. 
2015 is going to be a big year for us, and uh, I know, uh, uh, matter of fact, I just got off the phone with uh, uh, Woodrow, and uh, we were talking that this is going to be a big year, you know, we're going to do some big things this year. And uh, 2015 is the year of the app. And uh, matter of fact, speaking of that, I need to pull something up. I'm going to freeze my screen real quick. I've got to pull something up here real quick. Speaking of the year of the app, uh, I want to make sure I go over an email that uh, Woodrow and I were talking about and share that information with you. We got a lot to go over tonight. Got to show you a couple of things. Uh, there's some questions. 18 degrees. Yeah, you know, there's a huge cold front coming out of the north. I just talked to some people from Illinois, I guess it was, and uh, just a few minutes ago in the hallway, and they were telling me it was like I don't know minus 10 or something where they live. And, you know, I said, well, that's not, I'm glad it ain't where I live, but. Uh, you know, I'm not a cold weather person. I've lived in Texas all my life, and uh, man, one of these days I'm gonna have the money to where I can move to a warm weather state. You know, Southern Florida, Palm Beach, and uh, <coughs> yeah, 60 degrees yesterday, 22 today. Yeah, I could feel it. You could feel the the briskness starting to push through yesterday, and uh, wind chill minus 35. Holy cow! That's crazy, man. I can't even comprehend those kind of numbers, you know. Can't even comprehend that cold. I mean, to me, that's that's our, uh, my sales rep up in Alaska sent me a an image yesterday, and it was minus, it was zero degrees. The thermometer said zero degrees where she lives in Palmer, Alaska. And, I, you know, I guess when it gets so cold, it, does it really matter how cold it is, you know. I mean, to me, below, you know, 20 is cold. It could be 40 below. It's still cold, you know. Wow, Corpus is 45. Yeah, it is. that is cool for down there. Lots of wind. Yeah, that cold front's pushing in pretty hard, they said. Pretty hard. But, uh, man, it's sure good to see everybody. Got a big crowd in there. Minus three in mid-Indiana. When you're working in it, it makes a difference. You know, I was thinking, you know, uh, I'm a big Dallas Cowboys fan. Ryan Fristo and I were texting during the game on Sunday, and I was uh, about to throw my shoe through the television, and I get so angry. I don't care what the Cowboys do. I still love them, and I'm a, I'm a diehard fan. But they've not done anything in so long, and they just almost get there and almost get there. And, of course, you know, Sunday, man, the game was killer. And, uh uh, they came back, and, 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 man, Tony Romo, boy, I tell you what, he's definitely on it this year, and he's got a great team surrounding him, and, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's crazy what they're doing, but, you know, they're going to Lambeau this Sunday, and, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, it's called the Frozen Tundra for a reason, and, of course, you know, the Cowboys haven't lost an away game this year at all, so I'm thinking, you know, my mindset is, is it's it's great that they're going away to play, and then I say, but they're going to Lambeau. They played in a cover stadium where it's 70 degrees all the time. And, you know, they're going up against a great team. And I don't care who you are. You could be the worst, you know, you could have the worst Packers team in the world. But, man, when they get to the playoffs, there's something about those guys that's just absolutely unbelievable. My dog's standing here, and she wants me to hold her, getting on my nerves tonight. And, uh, but, uh, wow, I just lost Internet.
Can everybody hear me okay? I just got a signal that said I lost sound, and I don't know. I hope everybody can hear me okay. Let's see here. Am I going through? Yeah, it says I am. Yeah, could you do me a big, sweet favor? I'm right in the middle of an inter uh, a radio show. <laughs> could you reset the internet, please? <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, can everybody hear me? I went offline there for a minute. Can everybody hear me okay? Okay, it says it's been reestablished. Don't ask me what the heck this thing does, man. Uh, everybody hear me okay? We're going to get rolling here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's rock and roll. Don't know what the heck, man. This thing, I just get this alert that says you've just lost audio connection, and I don't know. I don't have a clue why it does that. That's something I'm going to work with Woodrow on and see if we can't figure something else out. I don't, I, this go to, I've, I've been on three webinars this week and it happens every single time, man. Everybody's having so much trouble with go to webinar for some reason. 
But anyway, okay, let's get started here. Let's rock and roll. And it is absolutely wonderful, Ben. I'm so happy to be back tonight. And uh, uh, it's it's just, uh, it's it's an amazing, amazing new year. And I'm so happy to be here. First of all, I want to thank everybody that has sent me uh, happy birthday wishes in Facebook. And I've received probably 200 emails today and uh, 100 plus in Facebook and then all the personal greetings in Facebook. Uh, thank you so much for remembering me on this day. It's been a great birthday. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a great year. And I'm so happy, man. I'm so, so, so happy to, to be here. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to share that. That's going to be part of the training here, just just one second. But I want to thank everybody. So welcome to the training, man. We've been off for a couple of weeks. Had a great holiday. I hope everyone had a great holiday season. Uh, great Christmas and a great New Year's Eve and uh, New Year's Day. Uh, the Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl and they're going to win. And I'm very excited about that. So mark that on your calendar that I said that tonight. And uh, this is our year of the Cowboys. Ryan Fristo is probably jumping up and down in his chair right now. Probably cracked open a cold beer and starting to celebrate already. But uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Tom. And uh, But it's great to see everyone. Man, we got a packed house this evening. Let's start off this year great. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, the road through Super Bowl goes through Seattle. I think you're on drugs, Greg Marshall. But, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're in 2015, and there's only one thing you can do in 2015. And if you don't get anything else out of training tonight, I want you to remember what I'm fixing to say. You can either sit, at, sit on your butt at the house and complain all year long, and next year, on New Year's Eve, you can sit there and say, you know what, if I would have done something, I would have made some money this year. Okay? And uh, if, 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 if's the biggest word in the dictionary. You know, if a frog had wings, he wouldn't bust his butt every time he jumped in the air. So if you don't get out of anything else out of the tonight, and I'm going to start it off hard, and then I'm going to soften up, get off your butt and go to work and build your business. This is Your business isn't Carrie's business. It isn't an instant app wizard's business. It's not Woodrow's business, although everybody uh, uh, likes to come to, to us and say, how do I run my business? I can't tell you how to run your business. But what I can tell you is your business will fail if you don't make something happen. I can't get out there and sell for you every day. I would like to, but I can't. And secondly, I'm not. And thirdly, I won't. Okay? Uh, Woodrow can't uh, sit on the phone 24 hours a day and tell you how to make that app look like your customers want it to look. He doesn't know your customers. The only people that do is you and I'm going to go over uh, my, my, my Facebook analysis tonight is uh, what I think Mike Cahill posted on texting you know <coughs> no one knows your customers better than you do and you can sit back and you can whine and you can cry and you can blame it on everybody else but at the end of the day if you will look in the mirror and say did I do every single thing I could today to make money and to grow my business and to build my business and to make it the best business in the world, then you can go to bed happy if you say yes. But if you look in the mirror and you give yourself 5,000 excuses why nothing went right today, then you have nobody to blame but yourself. If you got up this morning and you didn't go do anything, that's your fault. It's not mine, it's not Woodrow's, it's not Mike Cahill's, Greg Marshall's, Tom Hales, Kenny Dutton's, Vince George, J.J. Johnson. Nobody that's on this call, David Craiglow. I, th I know I lost audio for a minute because I see the sign again. I hope everybody can hear me. I know you can't. Oh. 
Okay, so we're back. I got sound again, so we're going to keep rolling on, okay? And, uh, but, uh, you know, nobody can, nobody can do anything for you but you. Nobody. So if you don't get out of anything tonight, that's what I want you to remember. Nobody can make it happen except you. And I say that to say this. You know, I posted, I think it was on January the 3rd. 31st or something. I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was January the 2nd. Maybe it was the Friday after New Year's, New Year's Day. And I asked, I put, put, said, you know, are you out working? Are you out doing anything? Are you out making anything happen? And, and uh, three people replied. Usually when I make a post, you know, several people will reply and like and all that stuff. But it wasn't it funny when I said something about going to work on a Friday after a holiday. And by the way, the holiday was over on Thursday. On a Friday after the holiday, nobody jumped in there and said, "Woo! I'm going to make it happen." You know, and, and, and so uh, uh, if you was finishing your plan for 2015 on the first, on the on the second, you was you was about a six months too late. But you know, I mean, here you are, you own a business, and you're not prepared. And I know I'm not talking to everybody, but there's a lot of people, hundreds of people that watch this video training. If you're not willing to make it happen and make it and do what you got to do, then this is what happens. Next year, you'll tell me the same thing. Carrie, it just didn't work for me this year. Carrie, guess what, man? Nobody renewed. What in the hell am I doing wrong? That's because on January the 2nd, and trust me, your clients were at work. On January 2nd, you didn't go out and touch face with your clients. And say, is there anything I can do for you today to help you build your business with the app that I sold you six months ago? Anything that I can help you do. So make it happen. This is the year. And uh, you're going to hear me preach for the soapbox a lot because I get a lot of calls. Carrie, I just can't. I just can't, can't, can't. You know what? If, <laughs> can't never can do anything. All right? Can't never could. And can't never will, but can can do it all. Well, welcome to the training tonight, man. It's great to be back. I'm standing up talking. I get so excited when I come to you guys and get to get a chance to talk to you. So let's rock and roll as we go through tonight. And I can tell you, uh, Instant App Wizard's not sleeping. Uh, me and Woodrow, we was on the phone. We were we're making things happen. This is going to be a great year for Instant App Wizard. We're going to do some things that's going to blow your mind. We're going to make some changes. We're going to do some things that, that to bring you the best product possible. Okay? So, uh, real quick, some housekeeping. Uh, if you have not joined our YouTube channel, join at youtube.com forward slash instant app wizard forward slash instant app wizard. And like us on our Facebook page. This is our Facebook page. This is not the group, which I think is probably the best group on the Internet. Like us on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash instant app wizard. Uh, if you did not get the uh, text message tonight, that's probably because you have not signed up. Uh, that's how I know when to come come to work, I get the text message. Text app call, A-P-P-C-A-L-L, to 727-478-1343. Uh, 727-478-1343. App call, A-P-P-C-A-L-L, 727-478-1343. And if you forget if you signed up for training or not, and you only have to sign up, uh, once for the entire series, and you'll get an email every single week. You don't have to sign up multiple, multiple, multiple times. Hang on, just saying. Somebody just get somebody just somebody just texted me and said, "Hey, do we got training tonight?" I was just telling Woodrow before the training. Everybody calls me and asks me if we have training. So anyway, let's let's rock and roll here. Let's rock and roll. The Facebook group, 
Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instant app wizard. Your suggestions and your ideas. Uh, JJ, I just roll, brother. <laughs> uh, just roll. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash instant app wizard. There is a lot of great suggestions and a lot of ideas that come through there. It is 2015, and I would like to talk about this article right here. Give me one second to pull it up. Because I know everybody got something different out of this article. When you first read this article here, it makes you think, you know what? I wonder if I don't need to be selling messaging to my people. Okay? But what you need to realize is, and, and, and I read what Mike Cahill put in the group, uh, was this last part right here where it says, what tactics the brands decide to use in mobile marketing strategy should always align to their audience behaviors, needs, and wants, said Bruce Hershey, the second vice president of mobile strategy advisor. The brand does not have a simple and easy mobile optimized way for the consumer to get relevant content, updates, and information. They will go to a brand that is thinking of them and buy from them. That should close every single deal that you ever wanted to close if you'll just take that one paragraph right there. This is the year of the mobile app, okay? Does every business need texting? Maybe not. I think a little bit differently on that. Maybe not, because it's a great way to reach out to your customers, especially with the new MMS texting that, that is out. But you've got to know what your customer does need. And that's exactly what this says here. The brands decide to use in mobile marketing strategy should always align to their audience's behaviors, needs, and wants. Okay? And what that's talking about is your client's customers. That's their audience. That's who is looking at what they have, what they need, and what they want. What can I get from uh, Joe's Pizza? What can I get from, from Jean's Jean Shop? Okay? What specials are they having? What are they doing? And, and how do I get that inf information disseminated as quickly as possible? I can tell you there still is no quicker way to disseminate information than what? Can anybody tell me? The quickest way to disseminate information in today's world? Text messaging. Absolutely. 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 There is no quicker way. Now, if you'll read up here at the top, why did it say consumers were upset? And, and you know, I, I get this question all the time. How much should I text? People got pissed off because they got bombarded. Do y'all know what beacons are? I, I went to two malls this year that had beacons in them. And every time I walked by the store, I was getting plummeted, okay, with, with messages. And uh, it was absolutely getting on my nerves. That's what people get tired of. You know, we have guys that, that, that they'll message, matter of fact, uh, one client, uh, he messages people two or three times a day. And I can tell you, that's why people are getting tired of it. They're getting bombarded. But I can tell you what I got today, and we have the capability of doing this. And I don't even know how in the heck or where I signed up for it at. Uh, but it came from Thomas Tech Tips. Happy birthday from the IT guy. Take 20% off of any service during your birthday week. Did you know? And, and I, I sign, I get text messages all the time from a lot of people. Did you know that's the only person that sent me a happy birthday text message? Did you know you have that capability of doing that to every one of your customers? Do you know how that made me feel when the IT guy sent me a happy birthday, take 20% off of any service during your birthday week. Now, let me tell you where the IT guy messed up, okay? The IT guy doesn't have a link in here for me to find out who the IT guy is. Is this from you, Jerry? The IT guy? Awesome. Do me one favor, Jerry. 
put a link in there so I can go right back to that and I thank you for doing that that's one of our own customers right there let me tell you something Jerry you are on to probably the hottest thing out there that right there wishing your customers happy birthday the only thing I would do and let me and, I, and, and I'm not criticizing what you did put a link in there so I can go to whatever you got that I can get 20% off of the services and I'm telling you if you're doing that for all your customers that is the greatest thing you don't know how good that made me feel Jerry when I got that text right there from the IT guy it made me feel like a million dollars and did you know of all the places that text me that's the only one I got that's the only one that I got so we have that capability in our platform if you don't do anything with text marketing at all except send out happy birthday notices what a powerful 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 thing that was but the reason people are getting tired of SMS is because people are over using it during Christmas I got I got a text from Nike every single day you don't need to tell me you got the same cell going on every day and that's why people are, are, are getting tired of it you know and they scaled down this year they scaled down because people were saying hey you're bombarding me don't scale don't don't stop scale it back but I'm telling you now if you don't know who your customers are and what your customers are doing and what they need you're never going to sell them on anything else you have to know those things what aligns them to their audiences behaviors needs and wants if I'm an if, if, if I have an, uh, an oil change company okay and you come in and you get your oil changed at my place and Jerry I want to thank you again for the happy birthday message if, if you if you have an oil change place and you're reaching out to people to come in to have their wipers changed okay but they don't look at you as a wiper change place they look at you an oil change place are you, are you really reaching out to that customer for what their needs are no I want to know that I need to have my oil changed and then when I come in sell me the wipers so what are my needs my needs is I've got to be reminded that I've got to change my oil even though my car tells me I got to change my oil okay but know what the needs wants of your cut of the customers are and their behaviors and you only way you can do that is sit down with your clients and talk about the people that walk in their store I got 15,000 questions is coming at me real quick. Hang on just one second. Yeah, you're right. And Mike Cahill just pointed out, people opt into text. They don't opt into beacons. And, and and I can tell you, I can almost see the FTC shutting down beacons pretty soon, because <laughs> people are complaining right and left, man. But that's that is so true. You don't opt into beacons, you opt into text. Beacons will plummet you. They will absolutely plummet you. And now I'm going to get over here, and thank you, Mike, for posting that today. You know, I took out of that. Uh, a lot of people probably took out of that. You know, I don't need to sell SMS. Yeah, you need to sell SMS, you just need to do it properly. Okay. Let me go over here to this email. And many of you have probably seen this, okay? Uh, 2015, the year of mobile for Google. Google is going to start punishing those that are not mobile ready. That are not mobile ready. Sites that are more not mobile friendly may end up being displayed lower in search results when searching on mobile devices. What does this mean for your website? Are you prepared to stay on top if a major change takes place as a result of the testing that is underway? I can tell you I tested several of your apps. I tested our platform. I tested all kind of stuff in Google's test platform to make sure that our sites do what they're supposed to do, that the redirect codes do what they're supposed to do. 
and everything came up positive. Okay, so when you go to your clients, I would highly recommend that you take, uh, I don't know if that link is in here. There's a test link. I'll post that link. I've got the link, the test link in the group. And you need to physically sit there and put your client's website address into that thing, into that little test program, and show them if they are mobile compliant or not. I'm going to tell you right now, you take this article, all right, that specifically says that Google will punish you, and I can tell you, most of them are probably not on the first page, second page, or even 50th page of Google anyway, but everybody wants to be on Google, and they sure don't want to be punished for not being mobile ready, okay? Mobile devices have been a driving factor in an increase in time spent online. In fact, since 2010, the time average individual spends online has doubled. 91% of adults in the United States own a phone. 61% of those phones are smartphones. In 2012, marketers spent $4.4 billion on mobile advertising in the United States. By 2013, that number doubled to $8.5 million. By 2017, the figure is expected to fall around $31.1 billion. Now, I want to tell you, let me tell you what that tells you. The big boys are spending a lot of money on marketing. We have the solution for the medium-sized business, the medium and small businesses in this world to get them mobilized, to put them up at the same playing field as the big boys. And people need to understand that. This money is being spent for a reason. It's being spent because why? 2015 is the year of mobile, period, period. 25% of adults in the United States only use a mobile device to access the Internet. PCs have become tools of the past. I don't know how many clients I walk into, and it drives me absolutely, and, and I'm telling you, it drives me bonkers. It drives me more than bonkers because they say, oh, I, I don't need that. <clears throat> Nope. You need to send, you either need to, and I'll go over that in just a second, JJ. Um, you know, everybody is using a phone. Your customers don't realize that. And they don't understand that. So uh, I'll try to make this into a doc, and I'll put this on in the Facebook group. I'll upload it in the Facebook group so everybody has it. But that right there, if 25% of the adults in the United States only use a mobile device, does it not make sense that you're not mobile ready? I was talking to a buddy of mine yesterday, and I'm telling you, laptops are fixing to be a thing of the past. With the technology today and mobile phones, and they're getting a little bit bigger, and the screens are bigger, laptops are fixing to be a thing of the past. Except for graphics and doing things like webinars and seminars. Organic search results matter now more than ever before. In fact, one third of all search clicks go to the top organic result. This means that the mobile icons Google is testing could play a larger role than you'd imagine going forward. Put simply, mobile device usage has been steadily increasing since the beginning of the decade. With enhanced smart devices, online usage among owners of these devices has also changed. To reach your target demographic while standing out in search results, you must mobilize your site today. Today. So I'm telling you now, take this right here. This is from Google, okay? This is from Google. And you need to you put this in your tool bag when you're talking to your clients, and they say, I don't need that. Third-party verification from a company like Google is extremely, extremely important. Not only is it important, but it's very, very important very powerful so I will I will put this in a doc and I will send that to you I don't have that test Woodrow would it be possible buddy if you could put that test link in the uh, I tell you what I may have it right here hang on a second I just paused my screen for a second uh, yep I got it right here as a matter of fact it's number three on my so I will put that in there.
Here's the link right here. I just pasted it and I'm sending it to all to test your mobile friendly site. I got that for you. Did everybody see that? Did everybody get that? Okay. Yep. And you can you can absolutely sit there and you can put that on your phone and you can test it right on your phone. Okay. You don't have to have a computer. Put that and bookmark it on your phone. And that's the first thing. First off, if they even have a website. You know, I'm finding that more and more companies do not have websites. It's absolutely amazing. Okay. They're so far in the dark ages that they don't even have a website. But but this lets you know right here. I mean, there's enough ta information in this article right here to take you to a different level uh, with your clients. You know, and I it's it's like I tell people all the time: either catch up or go out. Yeah, my case out. My, my KL says no website, more money for me. I'm gonna. I don't have a link for this article. I don't think. Does anybody have a link for this specific article? Maybe this is it right here. Hang on. Yep. Here you go. Okay. Hey, Mobile Mixed is a great site, by the way. Great information in there. Thank you, David. Okay. Any questions on this at all right here real quick before we move on? Any questions at all? Knowledge is power. You know, it's like I was talking before the training. Uh, like my grandfather said, if you, don't, if you didn't learn anything today before you go to bed, you're probably dead. Yep, yep. Greg Marshall said he just tested one and it works great. Uh, JJ, if you will give me five seconds, buddy, I will put that out to you. Let me finish this first, please. Any questions at all? Okay. Let me go up here and find the next thing. and close that out. Thank you for that, Greg. I mean, Mike Cahill, for that article. The redirect code needs to be put directly into, okay, the header of the website. Now, you, if you'll notice here, there's two codes. Redirect phone and tablet visitors, redirect only phone visitors. So some people don't want their site, okay, they're, if they, they, some people have sites that are uh, uh, easily read on tablets, okay, they're optimized for tablets. They're not optimized for a phone, okay, and, and Everybody knows, does everybody know what responsive means? Responsive websites? Do you know what that means? Responsive websites? Does everybody know that term? Okay, a lot of sites today are responsive, right? It adapts to the screen size. Here's the problem, and you're going to get customers, and I'm, I'm, I'm already starting to hear this. Well, my web guy just built me a responsive site that I can read on my phone. But that's, there's a huge difference in a responsive site because if you'll notice, most responsive sites, when it when it responds to the whatever size screen it is, okay, and it adapts to that screen, it puts a lot of stuff out of order, okay. A responsive site is not is is a far cry from a mobile application. Two totally different monsters, okay. Yeah, way too much way too much scrolling, way too much information. Now the thing to do with that responsive site. If it is responsive, and, and I'll show you guys in a second, I never use this button, 
to me, it's the worst button out there, okay, because it takes you out of the site. But if it's responsive, then, then, then maybe it doesn't really matter. But back to here, right here, redirect phone tablets to visitors, redirect on, and you can either email this directly to the webmaster, okay, or email it to the customer and ask him, oops, to send it to his webmaster and have him put it in the header. This is what you're going to run into. Most people who have had a website built no longer have a webmaster. They sold them a site, they built it, and now they're out of business. Okay? So that brings up a new opportunity. And I know Mike Cahill will say, yes, it does, and I love it. That brings up the opportunity for you to build them a new website. Okay? And websites today, especially with WordPress, you can build some beautiful websites, one page. If you'll notice, a lot of page websites today are one page. Everything is anchored, and it just... It's great. Man, there's not multiple page websites anymore. They're all going to one page. If you have no way of putting this in the header, it's not going to redirect. It will not redirect. And it has to be physically done. If they don't have a webmaster, that's a great opportunity. And we have some webmasters in the group, Facebook group. So if you don't build sites, uh, get a hold of some of those folks. And uh, matter of fact, if you're a webmaster and you want to I, I'll give you permission now. If you want to promote that you're a webmaster and you can build websites, uh, post it in the group. That way, if somebody needs you, uh, they can call you. Uh, but this is the way. Uh, you bet, Jason. You bet. Uh, this is the way that it is redirected. It will not be done if this tag is not in the header. It won't happen. So it gives you a more opportunity to upsell and get them into the 21st century. Okay, usually, and you'll find this a lot, if people cite, if people cite, if, if, if customers do not have a webmaster, their site is way out of date anyway. Okay, if they don't have a webmaster, it was probably a one-page splash page, and it's a piece of crap to begin with. And, and, you know, maybe I'm a little more forward than most of you on here, but it does not hurt my feelings to tell somebody that their, their, their product's a piece of crap. It doesn't, you know, because if you don't tell them the truth, if you dance around, and you're one of two things is going to happen. You're either going to piss them off, and then they're going to realize, you know what, <laughs> it really it really is a piece of crap, you know, and I do need to upgrade. But do it in a tactful way. I don't just come out and say, man, your stuff is such a piece of crap. But do it in a tactful way. But let people know that what they've got isn't good. You know, they're proud of it because they spent many, money on it. But just because they spent money on it doesn't mean it's going to do the job. So, uh, JJ, I hope that answered your question, my friend. Did that answer your question about the, uh, and that's found underneath the extras tab, okay? And it has to be physically copied and pasted and uh, put in the header. What, what, what do you do wrong, Gary? You tell them their stuff's a piece of crap or you don't tell them? <laughs> you, you dance around it and tell them, oh, it's okay. Uh, uh, very few. Because it's hard to find anybody that's got a somebody to put it in the website. And let me tell you, the, the, the flip side of that, most web guys, okay, most web guys will not put it in there. Why? Does anybody know why most a lot of the webmasters will not put that in there when you email it to them? Anybody? Fear. <laughs> That's right. Fear exposes them. <laughs> All these are right. That's right. They're fixing to lose business. Absolutely. So, you know, you, you've just done something, yeah, yeah, they want to build a mobile site, but guess what? A lot of them can't, okay? And they have an issue, they've got an issue with it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely, um, um, you're stepping on toes, and Woodrow just made a good point. It's an opportunity to get that webmaster as a sales rep, okay? Because if he's not building, a lot of web guys don't mess with mobile. 
they're they're focused. You know, they're not the uh, Katarinas of the world and the Mike Kales of the world, and and these guys that are and Jason Laports and these guys that are building building websites. You know, they're 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 focused on that one thing, and they're really so far behind the times. They're kind of caught up in the trap, and but uh, you're fixing to take their business. That's a good point. Mike Kale says, "I asked the client, and and that's a bad, now that's a tactful way to say that. Say that." Uh, Mike Kale says he asked the client why their web guy isn't taking care of them. You know, there's ways to go about it to to let these guys let your clients know that 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 they're they're being trampled on, and their their money's being taken away. You know, so any questions about the script, real quick? All good, all good. Which web platform is easiest to apply the redirect code to if they want us to build one? Which web platform is easiest? I don't know what you're asking. Could you elaborate on that just a little bit, JJ? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, what the website is. Just put it in the header. It all goes in the top of the header. It's all in the top of the header. Okay? Right here, you can see. Please include the below JavaScript in the head part of the HTML code. It doesn't matter if you build it in WordPress or uh, any other website builder out there. Put it in the header, and it'll work. And I'll be honest with you. Uh, for WordPress, use my plugin. Jason said he's got a header plugin. Post that in a group, Jason, if you want to. And if you sell it, I give you permission to sell it, because <laughs> that's a hell of a, that's a great plug-in. Because I'm telling you right now, you go try to put anything in a change, change anything in. A, uh, yeah, please go ahead and post that, Jason. He, he's got a header plug-in, okay. And uh, if you want to buy it, I'm going to let him post it in the group because it, it's it's hard to to do anything in WordPress when you're changing the code. So, Jason, you have my permission, my friend. If you've got a WordPress plugin that you've built that will do that, go ahead and post it. Guys, I, the, the stuff I want to keep out of the group is crap that people are trying to sell you that's no good. I mean, if, if you folks have something, I don't, I don't have a problem, uh, you know, if, if you talk to me about it, and Jason just posted that, and, and we're talking about this, and that's a, that's a great tool. That's a great tool, okay? So any other questions real quick? Oh, this was good training just on this, <laughs> just on the website re re redirect. Okay, Jason said he'll post that, and if the webmasters would also post in the group, I greatly, greatly appreciate that. Okay, uh, let me do something here real quick. Had a lot of questions about SMS. Uh... This is how you know if you've got MMS or not. There's a button right here that says Upload Image. Now, if you've upgraded MMS and you do not see that button, you were not upgraded to MMS. It has to say Upload Image right here. Okay? has to say it. And if you see that, then you can upload your image into your message and it will go out as an MMS. Okay? Everybody got that? If you do not see this button, I was on with Will Sims uh, one day. He called me. He had some questions about this, and uh, he did not have that button right there. So I want to make sure everybody knows if you upgrade uh, to MMS and you do not see that button, you do not get MMS. You do not have MMS. So message uh, support or message, uh, yeah, message support. 
and they will take care of that. And speaking of support, let me, let me just say one more time. Our phones are overwhelmed with most questions can be answered in the Facebook group. Okay, so before you blow up the phones, I, I've seen that, Greg. This is what, and I'll get to what Greg said in just a moment about Facebook. Um, MMS, if you don't see that button, upload image, you don't have MMS attached. Okay, and if you bought it, um, so, uh, email support. You don't have to call. If you just email, they'll take care of it. Okay? Greg was saying, uh, could I address what Facebook is doing? Let me tell you, let me tell you what I think about Facebook. I think Facebook is the largest marketing medium in the world. Never pull away from it. Okay? I think they're always going to be. I don't discourage anyone from marketing on Facebook. They're going to change their algorithms every single month. Okay? They're going to. I believe that if you will niche market on Facebook, you can do extremely well. If you will market to the individual cities in that customer's area, you will do extremely well. I think everybody needs a Facebook page. I think everybody needs to market that page. And if you know how to do that, I think you need to teach them that. I would never discourage anyone from pulling away from Facebook because what they do today is not what they're going to do tomorrow. I think a lot of that stuff that comes out is hype and uh, hyperbole and BS, really. Um, I think what Facebook is trying to do is get rid of the crap so that those that are actually marketing can market their businesses. Um, you know, if you're buying, I, I can promise you this. If you're paying a thousand dollars a month for for clicks, they're going to make sure you get those clicks. I can guarantee you that. Why? Because they don't make money unless you get those clicks, or they don't make money unless you get those views. So now if you've got an ad that's up there that's a piece of junk to begin with, they're, they're probably not even going to approve it. But if it does get approved, I do believe that they weight those ads. I can't prove that, but I think that everything is weighted, okay, based on the quality of what you're, what you're advertising, okay. Now, if they, if, they, if they tone it back, if they scroll it back, don't stop advertising on Facebook especially in your niches. If, if you would take your Facebook, and let's say you're in Dallas, Texas, and you've got a limo service in Dallas, Texas, okay, and you built an app for a limo service in Dallas, Texas, and you built a Facebook page for a limo service in Dallas, Texas, why in the heck would you market to somebody in Nebraska? Why, do you, why would you pick 21 to 50-year-olds in the United States? That's stupid, okay? That's the dumbest thing you could do because you're not in the rest of the United States. You're in Dallas, Texas. So how about narrowing it down in marketing in Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Grand Prairie, uh, Garland, Mesquite, uh, all those other little towns around there. Okay. Now you're actually doing what Facebook, I think, is trying to make people do and actually market what they're supposed to do. That's just my personal feelings. I would never tell anybody to pull out of Facebook. I think it's a great place to market. And I, I think it's a great place to do what you do. And Greg, I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear, but that's, that's how I feel about Facebook. Facebook is always going to be the largest, the biggest, and the baddest on the planet. And I want to tell you how I know that. Everybody knows that Google Plus wanted to do what Facebook did. Do we agree on that? Google, Google tried to do what Facebook did with Google Plus. And we all know how powerful Google is. I mean, Google owns uh, YouTube. I mean, the two largest search engines in the world, YouTube and Google, okay? Could Google come out and take over Facebook's position? Absolutely not. And it's not going to happen. So, uh, tell them how to search for a subject in Facebook. 
Just go to the search box. Search Facebook right here. You can search for anything. Oh, just whatever. Just turn like if you got a problem, Facebook advertising. Matter of fact, that's what I was just looking at. Facebook ad sizes. Type in anything in there. Go to it. You it'll like when you go to Facebook ad, ad sizes. It actually takes you to the Facebook interface. And it didn't. Go to their help desk. Must have been another Facebook ad size. Oh, I don't know. I don't call Facebook. I just do it. <laughs> I don't know all that stuff. I'm not a Facebook expert. I just know that... Uh, uh, I know I advertise in there. Okay. Oh. If you want to find an answer to a problem instead of calling. Oh, I see what you're saying. How to search in our group. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I <coughs> got you, Kenny. Just go to the group. Well, let me go to the group. I do that every time. <laughs> I thought you'd tell me how to keep Facebook from calling you. Heck, I don't know, man. Go into the group. <laughs> And see right here where it says search group. Now let, let's say I want to I want to see what Kenny Dutton posted. I could put Kenny Dutton. I can search the group. And it's going to pull up what Kenny Dutton has posted. Or maybe I want to say uh, <laughs> I got you on the spot now. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Now, these right here, that means Kenny's put something in these right here, okay? Uh, Kenny has commented some. See, he commented right there. There's also an iframe generator code and resources. Now, let me say that. Let me do this right here. Let me go iframe generator, okay? Now, let's say I want to know if, if anybody has said anything about iframe. Matter of fact, let me take the generator off, and I want to find everything that somebody said about iframe. All right. Now in here somewhere, oh, there it is right there. iframe flicker, but they do not allow it. Okay, he's talking about putting a uh, flicker in there. I'm glad I pulled that up because I want to mention that real quick. Here's iframe right here. Okay, well that just pulled up frame, 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 frame. Okay, so type in whatever you want, and it'll pull it up, guaranteed. I'm looking at iframe live video feeds for restaurants. Um, iframe right here will sims iframe but just go to this little search box right here and you can find anything that was ever posted in there okay yeah iframe one word if if they did that you could probably put uh you could probably put brackets around that too i don't ever uh let me see if i can put brackets around that and pull up just iframe i don't never i don't never use this much be honest with you. Matter of fact, I think somebody had to show me it was in there. Yeah, that that, that yeah. If you do just iframe, okay, then then it uh, doesn't say. Now it just brings up iframe. So if you put brackets around it, then it brings it up exactly like it is. All right. Now you can find iframe everywhere. Iframe generator tool. Matter of fact, this is the tool I put in there. So if you're ever looking for the iframe generator tool, there it is.
Yeah, quotes, quotes, quotes. I said brackets, quotes. Thank you for correcting me. I'll kill you afterwards. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. All right. Any questions on searching uh, searching our, our group? Yeah, th this search box does not uh, appear on iPad or iPhones. Okay. Any other questions on the group at all? There was another question here, a long one. So someone gets on one of my apps and they scratch off a coupon or wins a contest. How do they keep that screen up if they close down the app? In one of your training videos, you said they could try again and again and again. There's a saying that says how many hours a day they have to wait to retry. I am concerned because I have sponsors that are going to give coupons free and they're going to have an ad on each of my sliders on each category. Here's my demo medical app to see. I don't want a winner to win and then not find the coupon or prize later for redemption on their phone because they went to another category app or closed the app or turned off their phone. We're starting to sell the end of next week. I think it's okay. Let me know, please, on the training tonight. Uh, I will have to break that entire question down <laughs> and get with you. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, if this is just me. I don't use the scratch off coupons. <laughs> Never have. And uh, I don't, they, 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 there's some phones that they, uh, 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 they don't work on. And that's just, it has nothing to do with the system. It's just the phones themselves. It's kind of like the, uh, some of it just doesn't work on, so there's nothing you can do about that. It has to do with the screen, I'm pretty sure, but uh, if that makes sense. But I, I'm not, I will have to go in. It's been a long time since I looked at those, and but I will get you the answer for that, Jerry, so you know exactly what to do with that, if that's okay. Yeah, a lot of phones have screen swap built in. For scratch off coupons, winners with a text app. What now? So put that in a little, little break that down a little bit, right? Yeah, I, it will send you. It will send you if you have that set up. Yeah, if it will send you if you have text set up, but you gotta have texting on. Does their app have texting? Uh, uh, Jerry, okay, yeah, then yeah, they they will get a text message if they are, if they're a winner. They do get a text message. And thank you, Ryan. It's been a long time since I've even looked at that. A long time. And what I recommend doing, Jerry, is if you've got an app with text on it, test all that before you before you do it. Test all of it. That way you make sure exactly what you say is what it's going to do. I was just saying test it, test it. Uh, if you've got an app that's got texting on it, text to make sure the text messages are sending out when they scratch off and you're a winner and the whole nine yards. Is it a 2.0 app? One, okay. Give me one second.
redeem method right here. Texting re service required to send winner a text message. And you see there's no texting on this app, so there is no redeem method. Exp expiration, yes. And then you set up the expiration date. All right. Or you can do a contest scratch off. Allow scratch offs anytime. You can set whatever the, the time is right here. Okay. Scratch image. Text with background. You can click on the preview here. This is a great program um, if you use it. And see, there's no texting service. So if you want to, if you want a winner to be sent out, you've got to have text messaging. I just happened to do it with a with a client who's <laughs> who unfortunately it didn't work on his phone and it it was uh, uh, it didn't work out well for me. But it, it's a great great pro and and it does work on the majority. I mean, he had a Verizon some kind of Verizon phone that was half smartphone and half phone so. But all your all your Androids and all your major phones it works on. So hopefully that answered your question. Thank you, Ryan, for spricking my brain on that. It's been so long since I've even looked at these. Any other questions about the coupons real quick before we close out? Anybody? Anything else at all before we close out? We covered a lot of stuff tonight. Woodrow, was there anything else I needed to cover, buddy? That I forgot that we talked about? Yeah, and that's what I'm going to close with. <laughs> yeah, you can build your own coupon. You sure can. And you can actually build your own scratch-off coupon. You sure can. And that's what I did for this client. I built a, I built a custom scratch-off coupon. I'm fixing it out to talk about the contest winners right now. That's my last one I'm close with. Yeah, I sure will, Jerry. I sure will. Okay. Well, man, we've had a great training tonight. Uh, a lot different than I thought it was going to go. Uh, but you guys always have great questions, and, uh, uh, you know, it, it kind of takes on a mo mood of its own, and, that, and that's, what we're, that's what we're here for. And uh, so it works out very, 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 very well. But uh, our contest winners, the, I'm going to do something tonight. I'm not actually going to announce the winners. I'm going to let you go find who the winners are because I want everybody to go look, okay? And... Uh, I want everybody to have the opportunity to see who actually who really went out of their way. And I want to thank everybody that participated. It was a spirited contest, <laughs> to say the least. But, man, I want to tell you something. We had some awesome, awesome, awesome apps come out of this. And I mean some, some phenomenal apps come out of this. And uh, so pat yourselves on the back. And, uh, you know, it was absolutely uh, the best. And I mean the best. And uh, for those of you that, that – uh, thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Uh, Jerry says, great training tonight. I always appreciate those comments. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's always great to have contests and people actually get out of their comfort zones to see what they can do. And I want to tell you something. You guys showed what this platform is made of. And it was awesome. So this is what I want you to do. And I'm going to close with this. And this is the only comment I'm going to make is, is thank you. <laughs> Kenny says, is it too late to enter? Uh, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, and Woodrow says, thanks for everyone's help in the Facebook group. And we do have the most, I'm telling you, best group. On, I'm a member of a lot of groups on Facebook. Best group by far as far as uh, you guys working together. So this is what I want you to do. 
I want you to go to instantappwizard.com forward slash blog forward slash winners. Okay? And I want you to go to that site, and I'm going to pull it up here real quick, and I will copy and paste it in the group or in the thingy here. All right. And, and Woodrow said the site just blew up. <laughs> That's funny. Well, hang on a second. You guys are awesome. I, I give you that, man. Y'all are the best. I mean, the best I've ever seen. Paste. And I'm going to send this to everybody. There you go. And there it is. And with that, I'm going to close. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. I want to thank everybody for all their hard work. And I know without a question, without question, that uh, 2015 is going to be the year of mobile. And 2015 is going to be the year of Instant App Wizard. And 2015 is going to be the year of every single person who comes to this training. Because you come to this training for one reason. You come to this training because you want that extra little edge to get you there. And, uh, you know, sometimes... And I have people tell me all the time, say, boy, Kerry, you're sure straightforward. You know what? I could sit here and BS you every night and, and, and candy coat everything. But I'm going to tell you this, and I'll close with what I open with. If you don't get off your butts and make it happen, don't call me at the end of the year and say, you know what, Kerry? If you'd have just said that one more time, I might have done it. Just do it. As old Nike commercial says, just do it. God bless. Good night. It's great to be back here on training. I love each and every one of you like you're my own family member. I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't bring you to the dinner table because I know you'd stick a fork in my hand for the last piece of chicken. Y'all have a good evening, great night, and we will see you in the Facebook group.